everyone, there is a new build of Windows in the Insider Dev channel. Let's take a look at it. This is build 2200.100 and we will be taking a look at it in today's video. So first of all, there is a new chat feature that they have started rolling out. This actually came out in the last build and you just need to restart to see it. And so they are starting to roll out that. So not everyone will see it right away. But that is a new feature that they had in their announcement, but they never had it yet. So now it is there. And then the hidden icons fly up. So if we go right here, this is now updated with the new visual design, but you need to switch themes. Toggling between two themes will fix the issue. So you can go back to your other theme, but you just need to toggle. And now if you go to the notification center, you can now see focus assist settings right there. So that is another nice feature. Now a background activity from an app. So if we have an app that requires our attention, then it will have, you know, better color here, more of a glow color. And then it will also be red on these, these little thing right here. And so it'll flash for a while and then it will go away and turn red. Well, it'll be red when it's flashing as well. And so the touch keyboard icon in the taskbar is now, you know, a more reasonable size. And then the taskbar calendar flyout will now fully collapse down when clicking in the children. So let's see. Okay, so these can now collapse the calendar right here. So that is a feature that will give us more room for notifications. So in the Microsoft Store, there are new animations. So fixes. So one annoying problem that they fixed is when you click the date and time, it would actually restart explorer.exe and it was super, super annoying. But that is now fixed. Apparently that was only with focus assist turned off. Which, by the way, I'm not sure why they're doing this, but Focus Assist keeps turning on every time I update Windows. You know, update to these new builds. And so then when you right click, before they didn't have the settings, or sometimes maybe, anyway, it was a bug. So then that is now fixed. And then the clock and the taskbar might get out of sync, which I know would be really confusing, but I haven't seemed to have that issue. So there is an issue in explore.exe that could happen after resuming from standby related to the volume icon and the taskbar. Not exactly sure that what that would be, but it is now fixed. And I'm just going to go through and, and show you some significant ones. So the progress bar below the icons now, uh, it wasn't displaying properly before sometimes, that is now fixed. And now if you open starter search, now clicking on the taskbar will now make that dismiss. And so that's a bug that's now fixed. And so if you touch the taskbar icons, you now see the same animation as you would with clicking the mouse. So I guess in a collapsed state, the calendar which I don't know that there even was a collapse state before, but now it should show the correct month. But I don't remember there ever being a collapse state. Maybe there was. So if the start menu is open and then you hover over the task view, now this appears on top of start rather than behind it. So signing out and back in when battery saver is running should no longer result in taskbar becoming transparent. That's actually an issue that I had in the first build. I had no idea what it was, but apparently that's what it was. So the page titles and settings should no longer be drawn too high up off screen. So that is an issue that I have experienced. Searching for add and remove programs and settings should now return the expected settings page. And also search and settings is now faster, which is a thing that I've been struggling with before. And then crashing settings when interacting with the Windows Insider program section. And an issue that could make settings crash on launch. I think that's been there at least once or twice already. I guess search a shadow might appear boxy before. And now widget configurations may not be saved and they may unexpectedly get reset. 
Fingerprint sign-in should no longer stop working after rebooting your PC. The wallpaper will stop slashing when switching between desktops. Turning off show shadows under windows in performance options should now actually turn off the shadows under windows. And now this is known issues. And I recognize some of these from before, especially this one, which is kind of weird. Anyway, that is it for today's build. And subscribe for more videos about windows. Also like this video if you enjoyed it, it will help get it out to more people. And until next time, we will see you next time. Until next time, it's Fortnite Kiwi.